My name is Royce Durazio, this is the Arcade Warehouse, and we've been doing a free play Saturday promotion to let everyone know about our business, and it's been great. We get over 100 people every Saturday. We let them know that we rent, sell, repair, and buy arcade machines. So this business was birthed out of my own independent filmmaking. I actually was working on a documentary about video games, and I started buying some of my own, tinkering around and learning my way through them, and then out of the necessity of, of needing income, I started renting out my own private collection of games and then I partnered up with the Vintage Arcade Superstore in Glendale and they own most of the games that we have here in this warehouse and what we've done is essentially open up a second commercial location and uh, with a slightly more progressive marketing approach. That's how it started. It was not a plan. I fell into this out of the love of both arcades and movies. Well, you know, and people say you should be charging and, I, and to that end, unless I have to, unless there's a line of 400 people out the door. I'm not going to, because right now the word of mouth is just invaluable. And it really is one of the few places in the Valley that's not only literally 100% free, but that you can bring kids and adults together. And it's really cool when families come in here and let their kids just be kids. They're not you know, chasing them down and worrying about where they are or who they're talking to, because everybody's here under the, the notion of the love of arcades. And when you get past that pretense, this just becomes a, a fun zone. Not to be too cynical, but I think that there's a finite amount of time that the arcade nostalgia boom will, will last. But if what we can do is set it up to be attainable and remembered, maybe once we get past the nostalgia, maybe there's a future for arcades again, and maybe it's a more modern approach, which is something we're looking to tackle here, sort of redesigning these games for the future. But right now, what's important to me is just getting the emotional component locked in. And it's really cool on Saturdays, and it's priceless to see the reactions we get. The whole idea behind Saturdays is to get as many people in as possible to let them talk about it. And, and that response has just been something else. And it converts. You know, during the week, you get calls for parties and sales. And we have customers as far as Canada, and, and you know, we've got customers in Santa Barbara and San Diego, and $100 a month rentals in homes and production studios. And, you name it. I mean, we're, we're kind of all over the place right now. It's gone really fast. Any of the negative response we get tends to really be on the internet. I've had people go, well, why do I have to come all the way there to play Arkanoid? I can play it on my iPhone. And my response to that is, if you have to ask that question, you just don't understand. But it's cool. It's a, we're a destination. People wake up now on Saturdays and go, hey, let's go to that arcade today. 